What's up, YouTube? I am back with a, another video, and today we are going to get into some things, honey. So we are going to go over, one, how to achieve a classic red candy apple using a Granny Smith apple versus any other apple. Um, a lot of people struggle with getting that deep classic red without using um, a red apple. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that mixture for that. And then we're also going to go over how to decorate um, a candy apple kind of take it to the next level. We're gonna go over packaging. We're gonna go over pricing When I say we're gonna get into some things y'all been asking all these questions on all of my other candy apple videos So why not do a all-in-one and give you guys all the tea? So we're gonna be adding Minnie Mouse to these candy apples today and I'm just gonna go over um, how to elevate your presentation with candy apples and get more money <laughs> just simply so let's get into it so i have washed my apples and as you can see the sap is starting to come out if you do not know how to achieve bubble free candy apples in the cleaning process of apples please head over to my channel and review my other candy apple videos and it literally goes over step by step how to clean your candy apples so you won't have any bubbles so here i am just removing the sap on the apple i first wiped it off with a wet napkin and then i went back in with a dry napkin to make sure that all of the sap is removed because as stated before sap causes pinholes in your candy and that will not be cute so i put the candy apple stick and normally you could leave just the candy apple stick but we're trying to elevate okay so i took a paper straw a really cute paper straw that I thought would go well with the mini theme that we were going with. And you slide it over, but you just want to push the paper straw down in just a little bit so that when you go to dip your apples, they are secure and they won't slide off or fall off when someone goes to pick it up. So these are ready to dip. So here I am making the candy. I will leave the measurements and ingredients listed down in the description box below. So unfortunately, I will not be going over dipping in this video. Um, again, if you need a refresher or if you don't know at all, please visit my other candy apple videos. And then I added um, my Wilton white icing. It's like white food coloring so that your candy is not transparent. So you want to go ahead and give that a quick stir and just make sure that all the white is combined. And then I went in with AmeriColors Super Red. So you're gonna start off with a little bit at a time, but remember guys, we're going for that deep classic um, red that you know traditional candy apples have, but we weren't, we're far from traditional right now, but we do want that, that traditional red. So you're gonna stir it in, and I said add a little bit at a time, but you also want to make sure that the red is deep. It will deepen um, as you boil it, but you just wanna make sure that it's a deep red and not a pink. So I brought the pot over, I inserted my candy thermometer. The wooden spoon trick is classic. It prevents your candy from spewing over in your pot. So we're gonna cook this until it gets to 302 degrees. So this is what we're looking like. I think here we're at 235 degrees. You can see the red starting to deepen a lot, but we're still not quite there yet. That candy hasn't come together. So be patient and we're gonna get to 302. So as you can see, the candy is starting to thicken a little bit. We're almost there. We're at 277, but remember guys, 302 is the hard crack stage. So that's the number that you gotta get to on your candy thermometer. But you see that deep red popping out and it's coming through. So as my candy is finishing, um, I am using a flavor today. Today's flavor is Tutti Fruity by Lorianne oil so i'm gonna go ahead and get that open so when i pull the candy off it's easy to just stir in you do not have to flavor your candy apples but it does taste a lot better so bam this is the apples after i have dipped them um again if you need the dipping process and what that looks like please head over to my other videos i didn't want to make this real lengthy so here i have cut mini out 
And I don't know why I chose mini theme. I just thought it would be really fun, really cute. But this is how it comes. So this is called an edible image. And it's just like regular, the process if you want to copy and paste for regular paper, but the paper is edible and also the ink used to achieve this look is also edible. So I literally Googled a, a mini image, pasted it on a Word document, and then you print it, but using um, the edible ink and the edible paper on something specific to crafting and treat making. You cannot use a regular printer if you've it's, it's tainted and it will poison someone. So I cut it and then you're gonna cut mini out to the best of your ability. Now guys, it's not gonna be perfect. It will not be perfect. But um, you know, you wanna get as close to perfect as you can. Please guys, again, a heads up, do not use a regular printer to print out edible images. That printer has to be edible image specific and not used to anybody else. There's a lot of people on Instagram um, selling these. So, okay, let's get back into the video. I removed, um, the sheets come with like a clear plastic back. So I removed them and then you're just gonna make sure and position your apple to see that it's standing up with the stick straight up. And you don't need any water, you don't need any piping gel. This literally adheres to the apple with no problem. And it's best to do this directly after you're done dipping. And then you're gonna push your finger outward so that you're pushing out any air bubbles because you don't want mini lumpy, okay? Mini is not lumpy, mini is flawless. So you wanna smooth that with your finger. Don't be too rough because you don't want the image to rip, but you wanna go ahead and smooth it over and make sure there are no air bubbles underneath and that she is flush with the apple. So here again, I am removing that clear back and you wanna make sure that's removed or it's not going to stick to the apple. And you wanna make sure that whatever position you put mini in, your stick is standing up straight. So when your clients go to put it on their candy table, you know, you don't have your apple sticks throwing up gang signs. The one going, you know, this way, that way, no. You want them to be still straight up. Presentation is everything. That's how you collect your coin. So I'm just going over again how to position. You want to make sure she's in the middle and then you glide out so that the air, you know, glides out naturally and you don't get air pockets underneath the image. And that also greatens um, the chances of the image ripping and that you definitely don't want. So we have taken a plain Jane red candy apple and we bedazzled it. We put mini, slap mini right on them. And it's just, look how easy that was guys to take from plain to fabulous, but we're not gonna stop here, okay? So now that we have all of our edible images on our apple, um, as you look, everything is uniformed, sticks are standing up, so this is the look that you want to achieve, so make sure you cross your T's, dot your I's, and then even a closer look, and that's why you want to cut along many. You don't want to leave too much white leaving on the side as possible because you just literally want a flawless finish. So let's get into packaging. You guys have been blowing my candy videos up asking how do I package. So here I have Wilton's clear party bags. That's it. It's $2.99 per $25. I also have some Minnie Mouse themed ribbon. Remember, we're elevating, guys. So this is how to simply take your apples from plain to fabulous. And then I also got some yellow ribbon just to, and some scissors, of course, to make the yellow and mini shoes pop. So you're going to start off with your treat bag. You're gonna open it right on up. And you're going to glide that apple right in there. Drop it right in. Now I do get questions about, oh, does, is your candy apple sticky? Do they stick to the treat bag? And the answer is no. So if you follow my candy apple recipe, I promise your apples will not stick. As you can see, I'm literally pressing the bag up against the apple. Nothing, no sticking. So we're gonna take the bag out and pull the apple right out. There's no sticking, literally purposely 
rubbing the apple against um, the bag. So feedback that I did get, a lot of you guys leave your candy apples out. You cannot leave your candy apples out overnight because the temperatures in your house is going to cause condensation and that's why your apples may be sticky. So I literally bag and package apples directly after dipping and then I place them in the refrigerator and they don't melt. They're still not sticky when the clients remove them from the bag. Everything is good. So you want to do this process directly after you're done um, decorating and also dipping to avoid um, dealing with a sticky candy apple. Now, I will say that you cannot bag candy apples, put them in the refrigerator, take them out, and then put them back in. You're going to have sticky candy apples. It, it's going to happen. So whatever you do, make sure that before you place them in a the bag and before you place them in the refrigerator, that you are done decorating um, and doing what you need to do because you're not going to be able to take it back out and add or, you know, and then put it back in. It's going to be a sticky hot mess and we don't do hot messes. So um, here I have cut out all of my ribbon. And you want to cut it a little bit long because you want to give yourself some wiggle room to tie a nice bow, have like a little ribbon hanging down um, without the bow being little. So you want a nice size bow and then a good amount of ribbon hanging down. So if, I, if you're like me, I'm horrible with bows, give yourself wiggle room and also pre-cut and it'll make um, packaging, as far as time, it'll make it, your life a little bit easier to have your ribbon pre-cut. So we're going to start off with the mini um, ribbon. Guys, I am honest as hell. I am not the best when it comes to tying bowls. And I am going to leave that in here just so you guys see that even, you know, I've been in the cap candy apple game a long time. I still struggle with tying bowls. So it takes a few tries to get it right, but we're going to get there. So you want to make sure that, you know, the mini design on the, the ribbon is actually showing because that's the point of um, buying it and, you know, it'll get you an extra few dollars. So as you can see, I tied the bow, but I still have to play with it once it's on. So you want to cut off, you know, because you don't want to hide mini and you don't want mini to blend getting caught up in the design. So you want the design to be, you know, visible and you don't want the ribbon to overpower um or overshadow the design so i'm going to take you through a few bowls and what that looks like making a few bowls as i said i am not perfect so it does take me a few tries to get it right and then i also think it was the way i filmed because i normally um don't tie in this direction or it's it's a different method opposed to when i'm shooting so that made it a little bit more difficult, but nonetheless, we got the job done, 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 done. So it's important to like fluff your bow out as much as you can and then make it tight. And then make sure that the excess ribbon is hanging in the right direction. If you guys know a easier method or a better method um, used to create bows, please leave it down in the description box below so I can check it out. Because as you can see, your girl be struggling making these bows. Not perfect, but boom, it's going to do. And the yellow really makes the yellow in her shoe pop. So if you have a order for more than, you know, a dozen or even a dozen candy apples, you can do like half a ribbon, a certain color and half the other color. And you want to kind of highlight the details that's on the apple because it really makes it pop.
so here I kind of just um, start tying it how I would normally tie it and not the way um, that I started previously for recording purposes and as you can see it got a lot faster when doing so so you're gonna go ahead um, and boom so this is the final presentation to our mini mouse thing candy apples as you can see guys taking your candy apples from plain jane to fabulous it does not require um that much hard work but it's little details that make a big 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 difference so super simple but um can make you a big difference in a book so this is the plain candy apples and this is how i also package plain candy apples um you know with the same concept just minus the edible image i sell my plain candy apples for fifty dollars per dozen and you know that covers all costs if you want to break down costs you can say a dollar extra for um the individual packaging a dollar extra for the paper straws a dollar extra for the ribbon um per apple and then the edible image apples i charge 96 dollars per dozen so basically double the price and this is all it took for us to get an extra coin so taking elevating your presentation is not hard it's highly recommended um and as you can see it literally doesn't take too much longer to process so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys have been asking me for a very long time um how to add details to candy apples so the next video um that i make with candy apples will cover how to add fondant opposed to edible images but i wanted to kind of start you guys off walking before before we ran because fondant is a little bit more difficult because you actually have to create the designs by hand opposed to just cutting it out and sticking it on your apples so these came out fabulous um i'm excited to see i've been getting a lot a lot a lot of love you guys have been dming me on instagram showing me what you guys have came up with and i i, I literally love seeing you guys like master your craft it's so it's just so soul soothing like i'm so humble and grateful so thank you guys again for tuning into another video we will be back soon we're jumping into the holidays so i will have a lot a lot a lot of goodies coming up for you guys thank you and i will see you guys again